Hey everybody, it's Jason from the Texas Gun Vault, and today I'm coming to you with a very specialized video on a very particular product on a very particular gun. So I know this video is probably not going to get a lot of views in the short term, but hopefully will help people in the future. I actually like making these videos, and a lot of the videos that I've made that are similar to this in the past, I get a lot of positive comments about them over time. People saying, thank you so much for making a video on this. Thank you for helping me, because they have a particular problem. And sometimes those comments will come a year, two years, or even five years after I make a particular video. In the case of today's video, we're going to be talking about magazine tube extensions for the Mossberg 590A1. Now, this might also pertain to the Mossberg 590 or 500 series of shotguns. I believe the magazine tube is exactly the same, and the aspects of the gun that make the 590A1 different from those other models I think do not relate to the magazine tube. So the issue that I'm having is after buying this Mossberg 590A1, which by the way, let me show you that the gun is clear, 100% clear, there's no ammunition out here in the garage. And this is my favorite pump action shotgun. I actually get a lot of range time on this whenever I get to go out shooting. While I do love semi-automatic tactical shotguns, there's just something cool about a pump action shotgun. And the reason I like the 590A1 is that this is the only only pump action shotgun that is authorized for use by the US military and you guys know I love military shotguns, military firearms in general. The only thing that's different about this gun and the one the military uses is this is an 18 inch barrel. They use a 20 inch barrel with the bayonet lugs. But I wanted a shorter version for home defense. And this shotgun, as I said, has had quite a bit of range time. It's an awesome gun and has never given me any issues. Now, when I first bought this, I definitely wanted to buy a magazine extension because the tube only holds five rounds. So I went online and a lot of people on a lot of different websites said the one to go with is this one right here. This is the SJ Hardware Plus Two Magazine Extension. It looks very nice. It's finished very well. It comes with a sling swivel. It's really cool. Adds two rounds, which would give the 590A1 a seven round capacity. That's a lot of rounds for a pump action shotgun that's only 18 inches long. Well, of course, I bought it and it worked. There is no doubt this is a quality product. However, it does have one drawback. And when I looked online, other people were having the same issue. And that is this thing does not want to stay on the shotgun. This has knurling in the back, which is supposed to match up to the ball detent here where the barrel nut or the magazine nut would go. And of course, to lock it down. When I've shot this a number of times, this becomes loose over time because it doesn't match up to those. And it turns out a lot of people have the same issue. And it's one of the reasons why this company will also provide a spring that can go between the barrel and this extension to keep it on tight. But I kind of feel like they need to redesign this. And even after using the spring, it would come loose, which of course is a danger because you don't want the barrel coming off while shooting 12 gauge. That can be a little bit on the dangerous side. So I ended up finally switching it out to a factory OEM Mossberg plus one extension. So I lose one round. But I wanted to show you guys and give you guys a couple of close-ups in case you're looking at magazine tube extensions and more specifically, the SJ Hardware magazine extension, which as I said, is the most popular one out there and why I really don't recommend it. Now, it may work on your shotgun, but I think going a different route and a magazine extension with a better connecting device might be the way to go. So let me adjust the camera here and I'll show you the problems that I had. All right, so here we have the business end of the shotgun and the two magazine tube extensions. So the detent that I'm talking about is a little ball detent right up here. And normally when you buy this particular model shotgun, it will have a nut, which will go pretty much right here flush with the end of the magazine tube. So you have all of this barrel that is exposed and obviously you can add something to it, which is what these are supposed to address, to give you an extra round. But for selling points, they only give you a five round tube. But here in Texas, of course, we can have more than five rounds in our shotgun magazine. And there are other extensions which probably address this, but I do not want an extension which goes out further than the end of the barrel. There are like plus three extensions, plus five extensions, but that would go way out here. And a lot of those are designed for competition shotguns. I wanted something that is more for a tactical purpose. So the advantage to the S&J hardware 
magazine extension is that when it is installed, it goes right to the end of the barrel. It is flush. Now I'm going to show you the end here or the knurling, which has these little tiny dots around the edge. And that's supposed to match up to that ball detent. So when I install this, it will go on. It will tighten down just fine. So when it gets to where that ball detent is supposed to engage the end of the magazine extension, it will not really engage very well. So right there, it is hitting it. I get a little bit of a clicking sound, but not very much. I can tighten it down and I can tighten this thing down pretty tight. It will stay on just handling the gun. But once you start putting shells down range, this can easily come off. So if I just lightly turn it, as you can see, it does not stay on there like the original stock nut does or this one here from Mossberg. So I don't know if this is actually a factory one, but here you can see the knurling is different. These are lines and they positively engage that ball detent a lot better. So let me install this one, which is of course only the plus one, which I wish I had a plus two version, but you will hear the difference hopefully when I tighten this down. And so here we go. And let's listen closely. You can definitely hear that ratcheting sound. And this is on there a lot more secure. So I know a lot of people are wanting to buy this one. I see a lot of pictures online of this particular magazine extension. It is just, I guess I'll say the industry standard, but it doesn't work on this shotgun. And I've read where it doesn't fit on other people's shotguns either. And so they will add a wave spring between this, which makes this knurling or these dots here at the end of the extension completely useless. And it's being held on just by that spring pressure. But when I do, the spring kind of sticks out around the extension. I don't think it's very attractive. Plus it's not the way it's supposed to attach to a shotgun. I don't know why they don't address this and machine it like this other extension. So for my personal opinion, I think if you are looking at the SJ Hardware Plus 2 Magazine Extension for the Mossberg 590A1 with the 18 inch barrel, don't buy it. It has so much potential. It's finished nice. I really like this sling swivel. I wish this one had one. It looks great. It's wonderful in concept, plus two, but they don't machine this correctly for it to work on this shotgun. I hope this helps somebody in the future. If you're looking at this one, I think avoid it. Go ahead and get the plus one directly from Mossberg. It will fit on the shotgun better. It will click down. It will stay on there. You don't have to worry about it coming off and it works just like the basic nut would. You just get that plus one. Maybe in the future they'll offer a plus two, which would be flush with the end of the barrel. That would be nice, but I think aesthetically this works. You get a little bit of extra capacity. But most importantly, it stays on the shotgun just like it's supposed to. So there you go. I hope this video helps somebody, especially if you're looking at these two magazine extensions or a different magazine extension, and you need to know what type of end it has to have to work well on the 590A1. This probably is the same as the 590 and the 500. I'm going to assume that is the case because it should have the same mounting system. So while this is the industry standard, I don't recommend it. Go a different route. So there you go. So let me know, have you guys ever had any experience here with the S&J Hardware magazine extension? Did it work for you? What do you think? Did you have a hard time keeping it on under recoil? I think I'm gonna like this one a lot better even though it gives me one less round. It still looks tactical and matches the shotgun. So there you go. So let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching.